I'm uh, always very happy when I'm asked to talk about Al Wallace because he was one of the real greats in the motion picture business. As a matter of fact, this time when they called me up and said, would I talk about Al Wallace, I picked up this book and I thought, well, I'll refresh myself a little on the subject. And it was so fascinating, I read the book from beginning to end. Al Wallace started in about 1920, and he finished when he was of a certain age, probably about 82 or 83. He had real nerve, he had real judgment, he had a great artistic sense, he had a wonderful sense of enthusiasm, and he was excited by the business, which I think is the most exciting business in the world. I think films are really thrilling and really fascinating, and I've always thought so. And the men of that era, who, well, they started a little bit before I started, but they were excited about the business. and. The money was a sort of byproduct of the business. They had to be shrewd, smart businessmen, but they also were romantics. And that is very important. I found in life when you do something that you passionately believe in, it comes out great. And when you do something for money, it comes out money. Now money is very important and I'm sure it was damned important to Al Wallace. I had a funny experience with him once. He was going to do, I'd done Rainmaker with him and uh, later I did the picture with John Wayne. But in the middle of that time he had a picture called Summer and Smoke which I was dying to do. And Hal let me read the script, and uh, I thought, well, then I said, Hal, you know, I'm not going to do it for the same amount of money that you paid me for the Rainmaker. I want a little more. And he said, okay, Kate, how much more? And I told him. And then the subject was changed. I never heard from them again. Jerry Page played the picture, and I read it in the paper, but he never said anything to me about it, ever. Not even after we'd done Rooster Cogburn and we'd become very close friends. He, you know, he wasn't afraid to be wrong, which is a wonderful quality in anyone. He wasn't afraid to be tight. He wasn't afraid to be extravagant. He knew when he was hooked. He had a wonderful, powerful nature. And I value enormously my friendship with him. I think he liked me, and I liked him, and I respected him, as I respected a lot of men, or not a lot of men, about five or six men, who started the business, because I think they really got it off on the right track. And it's a great business. and. There's Al Wallace, wonderful man. Thank you.